It was a week ago when I sold my Canon M50, which I've been primarily shooting my YouTube videos with. And I am planning to get the Sony ZV-E10 with the Sigma lens. So in the meantime, I thought, what can I use? I've got my GoPro Hero 9 with the monitor. I also have my Pixel 5, which takes great video in 4K. And by the way, if you are getting into shooting videos, the phone is a really a great way to go. So here's the thing, when you're shooting videos and you wanna make sure to get the higher resolution, you wanna use the rear camera. The thing about the rear camera is, let's just say you are shooting yourself and then here is the front camera and then you got the rear camera and you're like, well, how do I see myself so I know what's on screen? So I started doing research. I found a product that I'm gonna share with you once I receive it that you can connect to your phone so when you're out and about and rather than using the selfie camera, you can use the rear camera and get even better videos. I found an app here at home where I could connect my Apple iPhone 7S or my iPad mini, and then I can use that as my monitor. So welcome to SIDS Tips. Thank you so much for joining me, and I look forward to sharing with you uh, how to connect it to the app. Uh, I'll put a link to the app as well. And if you find this video of help, by the way, greatly appreciate a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber and finding it value, then click that subscribe button, and of course the bell icon so you can be notified of new videos. So first of all, you are going to need, and I'll put a link to the app, and the app is called A Power Soft. So it's gonna look like this. So first of all, you need to make sure to have the two devices on the same Wi-Fi, as you can see there, and so they can see each other. Uh, and again, what's nice, once I have this other product, I don't have to worry about carrying a separate device because that makes it a little more complicated. Here I have a second tripod and I can connect this to for as my monitor. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, next step is I'm gonna press the mirror button on my Google Pixel 5, and then there is the iPhone, which shows the iPhone in the middle. I'm gonna click on that, and I'm going to say, start now, and now I'm connected. And so, now I'm connected, so the iPhone 7S is mirroring what my phone is doing. So now, let me go ahead and set this up real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and got my camera on and let me show you here. I've got the phone and you could see, now it is seeing me. So when I set this up, so I'm having it face this way, I could see myself what I am saying to on camera in case I need to look and I'm demonstrating a product. And there you go. And now you can use your secondary device as your monitor, and now you can shoot high resolution, and it's great. You just need a secondary tripod or something to keep it on. And then when you're done, what you would do, so I'm gonna close this up, and I'm gonna drop it down, and there's the A mirror. I'm gonna tap to enter. And now as I click disconnect, it disconnects. And that's it. Very simple to do. This is a great way to have as a secondary monitor so you can use your rear camera. You can get that high resolution video that you're looking to do. Just makes it work perfectly indoors. So there you go. I'll make sure to put a link again to the app for both the Android as well as iOS as you can see. As long as you got the two apps on both of the phones, you're set, you're good to go, and there you go. So I hope this video is of help. That is Sid's tips of the day. Let me know if you have any questions and have a great day. We'll see you on the next video. Take care.